Father, we want to thank you for the beauty of your glory. Now we exalt it. Thank you for your glory. Magnify your glory. Lord, I pray that you will speak to us beyond our expectation. Whatever grand seated of gain. Lord, shall we cover now in the name of Jesus Christ? Amen. Lord, we thank you because you cannot do it. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Somebody shout to me. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes when challenges come your way, Make you to become baby. It takes your strength, it takes your belief. It takes it makes you to forget even miracle that you've really experienced in God. Challenge. Because you wanting to steal, to kill. To destroy challenge, and then you find yourself in a situation whereby you just be looking at, Oh God, why am I so like this? Why things is not working for me in this way? Challenge, challenge is sand, very, very ugly. Challenge, stand, I see. It's something that we don't want it to happen. Number one. God is a half challenge. But a lot of people doesn't want to hear this. But I want to tell you the challenge God has. In the beginning of the creature, God has challenge. Devil came to manipulate the heart of Eve and Adam. It is a challenge to God. Because he created them perfectly. Everything was good about them. They didn't need to suffer for everything. But when the challenge come, he put the one God perfected down and gave them the nonsense. Hello, challenge. But I want you need to be careful about challenges of our lives. There are challenges that will build you, there are challenges that will destroy you. I want you to get this clear. Because talent doesn't like truth. Ahab does not like the truth. Ahab does not love what? Truth. 400 prophets. They gave him same word without even seeing each other. Go, you will win. And it's a great challenge before me. When I know whether if we go to the battle, it's going to win or not. When the man of the heart of God comes, the man that could moon with God. Because those for the prophets have been fed with negativities, have been fed with losses of life. They were eating fat meat, getting fat money. And they were all saying the same thing. They were in love with Ahab. And that is why the spirit of the sea will come. Will just, just come and they get this people hold. You get them hold. And they were saying what God did not say. A man, that's one man. A man that seek the heart of God. Wanting to know the truth called Micaiah. When Micaiah appeared, if the one that came to call him is that prophet Micaiah. The king had said something before I come to call him. He said, They say you are going to prophesy bad. You got no good word in your mouth. It's okay. It's your job, tell him. 
what you feel for tell that will make you happy. <laughs> Makaya obey. You falsely tell him. I'll go, you go to be okay. <laughs> and the king himself said, I know he's telling a lie. It's not saying the truth. So tell me the heart of God. You ask me the job. Oh. He said, Don't go to the battle. You're not going to win the battle. He said, What did I say? He will say something contrary. And then when you see majority following a route, be careful. It is a challenge, but be very, very careful. That is why the Bible says, broad is the way that lead to destruction. Crowd walk in it, but narrow is the way that lead to eternity. That is why truth is difficult to hear from churches today. Because everybody was after what the church member is going to drop for them. They don't want to say anything that contrary to their feeling. Challenge. You can see the kingdom of God is a real soup. Man. Hallelujah. Challenge. Challenge. And that is what spread to individual challenges. And challenge comes in diverse ways. But when you are not challenged, how can you claim you of Jesus Christ? Because the meaning of Christian is little Christ. Hallelujah. When they find the apostle in Antioch, and that is where they were named Christian, lead to Jesus, they perform miracle. They saw all what is happening in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is where the work Christianity was somehow, but it's not known to a lot of people. But today, we are, are looking at the same thing that a lot of children of God have gone through. Abraham faced challenge. Noah, he faced challenge. Abraham faced it. Isaac faced challenge. Jacob, oh my God, is just wonderful. He had diversity of challenges. Jacob. Death. In Jacob, a seed, the heart, the glory to establish that nation is Joseph. You are the apostle. Because they don't know that is the one God is going to use to establish that nation. If a challenge is own blood brother. They want to put it in the pit. The first thing they said is, let us go. Challenge. God dreamer is coming. Do you know how many places you appear and it doesn't hurt? Huh, that money one is coming. She only claimed that it's her money. I'm ruling over us. She's coming. Let us kill her. Challenge. Challenge of life. But Joseph saw it. He begged his brother, you can do this to me. He never listened to him. They have to put him inside the pit. The well, the pit, the well, the well where it has no water and it's very woman. A soul can easily die there because no water at all. The humidity is going to be so strong and very bad. But God kept him because he had a vision of him. Instead of you have to kill him, okay, let's sell him and make some money out of him. Because in history of slave, no slave that ever free or to become great. In those days, if they don't kill you for ritual, then you will never amount to anything in their family. You become a slave to their children, to another children, to another children. Praise God. And that is the decision of selling Joseph. But the Bible says, and the favor of God was upon him. Challenge. 
What are those things that you are looking at the challenge? As if it look, the end is not coming. The end is coming. You will not die with it. Challenge. No, it cannot take your life. You are going to be victorious. Because in the beginning, gossip finds solution to that challenge of Adam and Eve. And for them to continue living and to grow. The time of Loma come. Because he finds solution for him. The Bible says he's the only one that find holy righteous before mighty God. And he was favored. And let me tell you something. In your challenge, your favor is waiting for you. In your challenges, favor will work for you. Don't think it's going to take you over. No, 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 it cannot take you over. Favor is waiting for you. It tastes bitter, but the end is going to be sooner. The Lord will surely glorify himself. Challenge cannot kill you. If you look at Jesus Christ, you know, the one of us, as if it was too horrible, I've never seen such attack in my life. Mm. They were waiting in line to challenge the glory of God in his life. They tried to question him to condemnations. They tried to ask him, oh my God, just, you know, query the, the work of God in his hand. They do all what they could do. The Bible tells me that day I was just thinking when the book of Luke was telling me and they were waiting for Jesus Christ at the synagogue because they saw somebody that had a short hand. <laughs> they said, okay, today is Sabbath. We are going to go let's go to hear this one today. <laughs> they knew it's coming and they knew that it's going to see the one that have the short hand. And let's see when I was going to you imagine that challenge. And Christ knew before he arrived. Mm. And that cannot hold him back. That cannot hold the work of God back in your life. I see the still proof he is. The power of his glory. Bring them to nothing in actuality of standard of beauty, of glory, of mighty God over him. Challenge cannot take you over. Be happy, Christ win. Had if Jesus did not win, I would say, oh, forget it. We will never win. He's still winning up to now. We're going to face the challenge until we depart. Let me tell you this. Husband, we stand in the way of his wife. Wife, we stand in the way of her husband. Children, we stand against their parent. Your friend that you love, you think you are walking the same way of the kingdom. We stand in your way. They are going to get something to speak which is evil about you in which you will not have any knowledge at all. Challenge. It will come. The Bible says it will surely come. But not by him. But the truth of it all, in a small you are standing in the right part of his kingdom, victory is winning on your side. Second Chronicles chapter 20. Second Chronicles chapter 20. It came to pass after these also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them other beside the Ammonites came again Jehoshaphat to battle. I want you to for what reason? For hatred, jealousy. Jealousy. Look at the combinations. And these are little 
people, one of them. I'm all right, there are many more than the Yuga. Can you imagine that? And Canaanite, double, double, double people. Standing, waiting to make sure you pull them down. I want to let you understand, Charlie cannot take you over. Smile over you, Charlie. It has to come. It will come. You tell it will come. You cannot stop it. But the Bible says, you need to remember this. Greater is he that is in you than who is in the world. No, you are more than a conqueror. But greater is he that is in you. You'll be victorious. The Lord will surely glorify himself. The battle cannot crush you. You are the one who is standing the battle. Because his promises is ye and amen. The Bible said, Yeah, come and a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on the side of Syria. And behold, oh my God. They be in Hazard Zotama, which is in Gedi. And Jehoshaphat fear set himself to see the Lord and proclaimed to fast throughout all Judah. You should think about it. Because there are too plenty. Hello? And it's the same thing we are experiencing here. We have only just this small place here. Look at the people that have wrong and they are still helping us here. We are not into business of a real estate. We are not into business of all kind of things. But they just have hatred for us here to kick us out of here. The landlord told me, he said, do you know these people want me to send them out here? Then I said, yeah, this man is sending committing this kind of lives here. He's having an impact to a lot of lives. So I can send him away. I cannot. They just want him to push him out because they hate truth. Because they hate truth. And these are people that call themselves Christian, though. <laughs> what they Christian? They name themselves after our Lord Jesus Christ. Challenge. Oh my God! The building of his kingdom is resting upon those who fear him. Start! God is taking you somewhere. Amen. God is taking you somewhere. Amen. The book of John chapter 6 verse 8. Hear it. One of the disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter, the brother, said unto him, There is a lad here with hot fire, barely low, and two small fishes. But what are they among so many? Can you see that? Those things cannot feed anybody. Look at the crowd. Our provision will be met by him. Amen. Whatever, it doesn't matter whatever provision that you need. Any provision at all that you need at this time, provision is coming. The need will be met by God. The Lord will glorify himself. The truth of his kingdom will lead you through. You will be a winner all the time. You are not going to lose. They are the one that lose. Amen. They are the one that will lose. Life in the potency have been given to us. You got it. Fear no. That challenge cannot take you to anywhere. You are more than conqueror. 
the glory and power of this kingdom will establish itself and his name shall be glorified. That challenge will not overcome you. The truth of his kingdom will be established over you. Challenge will come. You cannot stop it not to come. Because with our Lord Jesus Christ, he faces it from these vices. But it will take him to cover it. Challenge. But you don't need to die for it. Because Christ has died for you. Amen. You need to go through the pain. Because Jesus has come through the pain. You didn't need to walk in the way they walks. Because you are different. The beauty of his kingdom is resting for perfection of his kingdom over you. So it will come. But you've got to be a winner. Amen. You know, as soon as Christ gave up the ghost, they saw the hand of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because a great event manifests itself. There is a thundering. And the temple clothes were torn from top down. God is no more living in the house to build, now doing it in the heart of people. That is why the Bible tells you, you are the temple of God. Hallelujah. You become God temples. Talent have to go. You have to go. You will overcome. The power of his kingdom will rest upon you. His glory shall be established. The power of his kingdom will remain with you. Shall it have to come? It's coming. But Christ is with you. This thought cannot swallow you. But what you need to do develop your faith. Believe in Jesus. The Bible tells us as soon as they sail, Christ is down in the boat sleep. Down. He was down there sleeping. And trumpets arise. Another great challenge. But the one that's in charge is in the boat. It's in you. It's going to work it out for you. It's going to build his kingdom to perfection of his glory. Challenge. Challenge. It will come. But Christ doesn't see it to be anything because he's in charge. Jesus is in charge. And he rebooked the way. There is total Silence is coming to you right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. This are changing. Believe. You will be overcome. The power of His glory is turned beside you. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. That trouble cannot take you to anywhere. You are the one who will see the end of it now. It's even now, not tomorrow. Hallelujah. Because the hand of God is moving it to lift you up to a higher level and destroy the plank of the devil. That healing is coming to you. No, it is a challenge. It has to come to an end. Enemy cannot prevail over you. It's not possible. That sickness, you are going to be healed. Amen. That debt will be paid. Amen. It's a challenge. You are crossing over. Amen. Yes, you are crossing over. It is a challenge. I'm looking at somebody. You know, I see, I guess a brother, whatever, because the person that in that jail happened to be your relation. And everybody knew what they put this guy 
which they arrested this guy is false allegation. The Lord say it is a challenge because of what God will do in this world. The glory of God will strongly manifest. It is a challenge and I declare favor to speak for your release now. In Amen. the power that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Lord is making me to tell you. I'm here trying and fail. I don't know what you tried that you're feeling. The Lord is making you to understand. It's just like time. The children of Benjamin refuse to agree with Israelites. And they are they agree to go to battle with them. Because I saw that you felt that God wants you to take that step. But you keep on finding yourself failing. First one fail. Second one fail. And Benjamin killed them first time. Benjamin killed them second time. They said, God, you ask God to go ahead with them. But what happened? And the Lord said, Go now, you will win. And it's only two of tribe of Benjamin that remain. They went to hide themselves in the cave. The Israelites have mercy upon them after they discovered them. They asked them to come. They give them their children to marry. They said, no, this generation shouldn't be parents. But those who learn their lesson, they need, they need to walk together as one tribe. Because they are all son of the same father. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that failures is ended in your life now. Amen. In the power that's in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God is telling me about someone you're seeking for the Lord. But it looks as if you go nowhere with this. In fact, I can see that you've been denied. The Lord is asking me to tell you. You will get it. Amen. I say you will get it. Amen. I decree vivo and those that you'll never think that will open for you. I release you to that door now. Amen. Be connected in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Before you knock, the door will open for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you. I'm going to pray for most of people. I saw a lot of people having children their children were sick. I pray in the name of Jesus. Wherever all this kid is in the hospital, either at home, wherever you are, I command their healing now. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that in the name of Jesus, let the healing begin to take place now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, thank you. Lord, I give a praise. Lord, I speak to that demon that is causing fighting. I've seen a family. This young couple is fighting all the time. I come against the demon that is causing this fight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are arrested and I cast you out Amen. from this marriage. Amen. Of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Every power of witchcraft working against your marriage, hear the word of the Lord. I command them, die in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The power of his kingdom will rule over you. Amen. We begin to take place. I saw businesses having a lot of issues. There's a particular person I'm looking at you. Your business is having a lot of issue. In the name of Jesus, I praise that power. The kingdom that is working again got your business. I collapse them from this moment and I speak life to your business in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. As many that seek it, I speak healing to your body right now. I command the healing virtue to come to you right now. 
I command healing virtue to come to you right now. Yes, beloved, receive your healing right from that bed. In the power that in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Lord, I just give you praise and magnify your holy name. Lord, I bless your people. I pray as many that will listen to this message shall be blessed. Amen. Challenge will not overcome you. Amen. You will overcome all the time in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The truth of his kingdom will remain and abide with you. Thank you, King of Kings. In Jesus' mighty redeemer, I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.